During the season, uh, you know, for Spartan, when I'm getting ready for, you know, championships, I'm in the mountains, I'm carrying sandbags, I'm doing like, you know, crazy descents, I'm doing crazy climbs, so I'm doing speed work, uh, I try to make sure I'm doing those on the grass. So I'm, you know, out there practicing the spear throw. I'm on the rig, you know, I'm out there doing strength training in the gym. So I'm trying to correlate, you know, as best as possible, the same conditions that I might be faced, you know, with during a race. I think it's extremely important to practice obstacles. I mean, those few seconds at the level we're at can mean the difference between first and third. I mean, if you can make up, you know, two or three seconds on every obstacle because you've been practicing them, that adds up over the course of like 20 obstacles. And you can't just be good at one thing. You need strength, you need speed, you need stamina. And doing obstacles, I mean, kind of gets all that for you. I believe that, you know, you don't need to overtrain. I've done it once before where you're just like really strong, you're really fit, and then you're just almost like hit a wall. And when you've hit that overtraining point, it, it takes a long time to recover from that. I think that's one of the things that makes me successful is I'm not out there doing 120 miles a week. You know, I'm always staying kind of at that level where I'm preventing injury, but I'm maintaining your whole body. During the off-season, my training regimen's a little different. I do winter biathlon, then I go snowboarding, I try to you know, make trips to go surfing, I kind of do like my hobbies, things that I, I really enjoy. Yeah, I'm really trying to focus on letting my body recover during the off-season. You know, you can't always you know, push yourself for an entire year. Those recovery times are really what makes you go that extra height during that next peak period. It's time, Sometimes I'm on the bike up in the mountains for two or three hours and it's a lot of time to be by yourself. So I try to take that time to listen to some music. So you know, just kind of decompress. Um, I think that's a, an important thing. You have to you know, kind of enjoy what you're doing. I think I definitely owe the success that I've had to, you know, all the hard work I've put in. I mean, it's it's been a long time coming. It's taken years, I and mean, I've been training for this my whole life, even if I didn't know it or not. I mean, everything I've done up to this point has been, you know, some type of training to get me to the point that I'm, I'm at right now. And first place, Robert Killian!